Hey there, this is Mary DeMuth and this is Pray Every Day where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. What a privilege it is to be able to pray for you every single day. Um, thank you for allowing me to do this. I am I understand how important it is and how sweet it is to be invited into your head space and to your heart space. And so thank you so much for doing that. All right, we are in Acts chapter 13, verses 13 through 23 in the voice translation. And this is what it says. Paul and his entourage boarded a ship and set sail from Paphos. They traveled north to Perga in Pamphylia. John Mark, however, abandoned the mission and returned to Jerusalem. Paul and Barnabas continued from Perga to Pisidian Antioch. And on the Sabbath, they entered the synagogue and sat down. After the regular reading of the Hebrew scriptures, including the passages from the Law and the Prophets, the synagogue leader sent a message to them, Brothers, if you would like to give us some exhortation, please do so. Paul rose to his feet, offered a gesture of greeting, and began his message. Israelites and other God-fearing people, please hear me. The God of the Israelites chose our ancestors and helped them become a large population while they were living in Egypt many years ago. He displayed his great power by leading them out of the power of that powerful nation. For about 40 years, he endured their constant complaining in the wilderness. He opened up some land for them in Canaan by destroying the seven nations living there, and that land became their inheritance for about 450 years. They had tribal leaders through the time of the prophet Samuel. Then they asked for a king, and God gave them one, Saul, son of Kish, of the tribe of Benjamin, who reigned for 40 years. After God moved Saul aside, he made king, David king in his place. God had this to say about David. I have found David, son of Jesse, to be a man after my own heart. He's the kind of king who will rule in ways that pleases me. God has selected one of David's descendants as the long-promised liberator of Israel. I am speaking of Jesus. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, may it be that today we are the ones who say, I am speaking of Jesus, the liberator of Israel, the liberator of my heart, the one who has done so much in my life. And as I look back on my own um, journey of healing in particular, just all the brokenness that I had, all the trauma, all the flashbacks, all that, Lord, you have brought me on such a long and oftentimes excruciatingly slow journey of healing. But I am speaking of you, Jesus, because you have done so much. You have liberated me. And I pray that for my friend listening today. I pray for holy liberation um, from whatever has enslaved them, whether it be uh, just a very hard story from the past like I've endured, or maybe it's um, a broken relationship that just doesn't seem to get resolved, or maybe it's some sort of secret sin that uh, has been nursed for 10 years and they can't seem to find the victory in that sin. Lord, would you set them free today? Um, this is a day of liberation and Jesus, you are our liberator. And so we look to you. Thank you too, Lord, for this uh, example of just kind of the affinity that Paul had, Paul and Barnabas had with the synagogue. It wasn't uh, contentious at this point. It, the synagogue officials just said, hey, tell us your story, tell us stuff. And so Lord, help it to be an example to us that we don't need to come in to situations with guns blazing, so to speak, um, but to be learners, to sit back and wait for the invitation, to humbly tell our stories, to know the scriptures like Paul did so that we can unpack it for others. Lord, would you increase our knowledge of your word? Would you help us to make your word a priority of study in our lives? Help us to understand the narrative of scripture, what is going on, the beginning, the middle, the end, the climax, of course, being you dying on the cross and resurre resurrecting from the dead. Lord, help us to let that story of you and story of us frame everything we do. And Lord, help us to live in light of eternity, knowing that there, when we get there, um, there will be reward for what we have done. And I'm so grateful for that, Lord. Help us to live in light of doing things that are eternal, to have that eternal perspective. Lord, show us ways to secretly give today. Show us ways to secretly bless. Show us ways to pray for others in their presence so that they can know that they are being loved and prayed for by us. Um, Lord, just be with us today. I pray for those who are worrying, who are 
overcome by the burden of worry, and I pray you'd set them free. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. If you want to help the podcast, you can leave a five-star rating. Um, If you hate it, then leave it a one-star rating. But if you like it, give it a good rating. Or you can write a two- to three-sentence review over on the app of wherever you're listening to this podcast. I know some of you are listening in a variety of different ways. So I hope you have an amazing day. And really, the prayer I had for you today, it really is for you. I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that you would be set free.